Welcome everyone to another Foxtech video and today I'm going to guide you through the process of transferring voice memos from your Apple Watch to your iPhone. Now that's that is supposed to answer the question of how to get voice memos from the Apple Watch to iPhone, right? So at first, take your iPhone and open up the settings app and at the top of the screen, tap on your profile to access the iCloud section. Here, you'll find various toggles for the different apps. Make sure the voice memos toggle is switched on, which ensures that your recordings sync across all of your Apple devices. If it's already enabled, try toggling it off and then back on, and this can often reset the syncing process and resolve any issues. Now you should check your Apple Watch and open up the Voice Memos app on the watch. And make sure to see if the recordings that are on your Apple Watch are syncing automatically with your parent iPhone. So it should already start happening. but some larger recordings might take a bit more time to appear on your iPhone so be patient and allow some time for the syncing process to like happen and go through and if your recordings still aren't showing up on your iPhone it might be worth updating the software and you should do it both on your Apple Watch and iPhone because these software updates a lot of times can resolve issues and bugs like these so yeah if you haven't updated your apple watch for a while i guess it might be time to do so obviously if you tried all of these things and you still have trouble then you can reach out to the apple support or literally just walk into the apple store ask them what's going on and they can see your specific case and try to troubleshoot it like tailored to you and your devices and also, there are some third-party apps which can replace the voice memo. So in case you find that the built-in voice memos app is not really that reliable, you might also just download a different third-party app. Like there is, for example, this one called Noted, which can be useful for recording and syncing voice memos outside of the built-in memos app. So yeah, you can decide for this option or browse through some other alternatives on the app store. So hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll see you guys later in the next video.